Now in the next two parts this question we're given this summary data that the time spent to the nearest minute uh, t on the homework the sum of the values of t was 1414 and the sum of t squared is 69378 and in the previous part of the question we worked out the median q2 was 41.3 now in part B we've got to find the mean and the standard deviations of the time spent by the students on their homework. So we'll first start by looking at that one. Now for calculating the mean, let's just write that in, the mean, we would use say the symbol T bar. T bar is going to be equal to the sum of all your T values, sigma T divided by however many you've got, N. Well, we know what the sum of all the t values are. It's 1,414. And we know that n happens to be the 32 students. So divide by 32. And what we end up with is 44.1875. OK. And if we give this, say, to three significant figures, it turns out to be 44.2. 44.2 minutes, okay, to three significant figures. Right, well that's that part. In the next part, we're asked to work out also the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation, you could use the symbol S if you like, it's up to you, is given by the formula. You should know this already, but it is given by the formula the sum of t squared divided by n minus the mean t bar in this case squared. So we've just got to fill in our values for this then. We've got the square root then of sigma t squared which is 69,378 and we divide that by n, n being the 32 students. Now we subtract the mean squared. So I'm going to take this unrounded version, 44.1875, and square that, okay? Now, if you work that out, you'll find you get 14.6808, and so on. And again, if we give this to an accuracy of three significant figures, it turns out to be 14.7. 14.7 minutes, okay? Two, three significant figures. Now in part C, we're asked to comment on the skewness of the distributions of the time spent by the students on their homework and give a reason for our answer. Well, this is where we compare the mean to the median, Q2. And what I notice is that the mean, 44.2, is greater than the median. And if that's the case, this is a sign of positive skew. If it was the other way around, it would be negative skew. That is, if the mean was less than the median. So the answer to this is that essentially the mean okay, is greater than the median. Just squeeze that in there, okay, the median. So therefore what we have got is positive skew. Okay, well as usual, I hope that's given you some idea if you are having any problems with that part of the question.